is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Um, Dallas Goddard, remember when he got sucker punched uh, about a week and a half ago at that South Dakota, North Dakota bar, whatever it was. It was it was in a Dakota. I forgot which one it was. I think it's uh, it's some kind of Dakota. But anyways, he got he got his uh, Dakota lights out, right? Well, apparently, the man who punched the Eagles' tight end says it wasn't a cheap shot. He's insisting he was protecting a friend who was in a Dallas grasp. And he says that he suffered serious injuries as a result. TMZ spoke with Kyle Hadala, who tells him that he feels the viral video does not tell the full story of what transpired before the fatal punch was thrown on June 19th at the zoo bar in South Dakota. Hadala insists Goddard and his friends had been harassing them at a previous bar over the choice of music that they were playing on the jukebox. They were extremely aggressive and disrespectful, Hadala said. The group moved to a new spot, the zoo bar. But Hadala says Goddard and his crew followed them with bad intentions. Very soon, according to Hadala, the situation escalated. They picked out my smaller colleague from the group, got in his face, and made very threatening remarks towards his personal well-being, Hadala said. Then one of his crew told my other colleague, and I quote, you're just a fat effing wussy. He used the P word instead. I'll beat the S out of you. Hadala says Dallas put his hand on his friend, which you can see in the video, and then that's when Hadala decided to take action. At this point, I was in fear for both of my friends' well-being, especially due to the fact that they were there were 10 of them and were not familiar with the area. I protected my friend and then was ambushed by five to seven individuals that punched, kicked through beer bottles, et cetera, trying to cause me bodily harm, which I received medical treatment at the hospital for my injuries the next day. Hadala said he received multiple lacerations in the incident, which required several stitches and staples close to the wounds. Hadala was eventually arrested and booked on simple assault charge. He's already lawyered up and plans to fight the case. Now, they reached out to Dallas, but no comment. Now, I got to tell you something. If there's any truth to all of this, I hope Dallas Goddard gets suckered punched another 30 times in the next 30 days. Do you understand that? If this is true, if these guys were harassing them, okay, all right, I hope somebody, no, I hope 30 different dudes attack him daily. I hope somebody comes from somewhere and sucker punches him every day for 30 days. All right? If this is true, Dallas Goddard is a complete scumbag. Okay? That's all I'm saying. If it's not true, then the other guy's a liar and a cheap shot artist, and he should go to jail and serve it. But if Goddard and his friends were really harassing those guys to the point that they followed them to another bar, I'm glad that they sucker punched him. Again, I don't know what the truth is. I hope it comes out. But if this is anywhere close to true, then what happened to Dallas Goddard, I'm happy for your ass. Okay? I hope you got a third-degree concussion from it, if it's true. If it's true. That's all I'm saying. If it's not true then the other guy needs to go to jail and serve some time. But that story better not be true that you actually went and you were actually, you took the time to go chase these guys to another bar to harass them. If that's the truth, then I'm glad they knocked your ass out. And I hope they do it 30 more times in the next 30 days. Okay? Seriously. Because I have no sympathy for that at all. That's just being a bully. That's being a, a, a total low life. You got no life, and you're gonna be you're gonna be harassing just regular people that are just minding their own business. I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not in favor of it at all. I am 
in no way, shape, or form do I have any kind of sympathy for anything like that. 